Morning guys, um, so it has been a while since I have filmed anything or put anything on YouTube uh, but I thought today would be uh, uh, a good time to do it. So I'm currently on a call with one of my best mates and uh, let's say usual airsofter or man in crime because it's his birthday. Hey guys, hope everyone's all well, how you doing? All good, all good. What's what's with the well? You you had a change of background all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's my, it's my curtains. Do you like them? Is that your curtains? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So happy birthday, Chief. Cheers, man. I appreciate it. Well, you're like forty plus right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, twenty four. Yeah, same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. If you want to, if you want to put it that way, I think. <laughs> so, what are you doing today then? Symptoms from airsoft. Withdrawal so. symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's true though. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's going to be cool. And then hopefully, like, you know, in time, I, you know, I guess I get like a new gun or something. I'll be able to test it out. In, you know. And. Uh, so what? What gun are you wanting to get? I'm looking to get the uh, good old nice silverback SRS A2 sniper rifle. <laughs> FYI, people, this guy did not do, stop doing my head in for the last three weeks about the freaking SRS. Um, he even wanted me to buy two of them, one for me and one for him. That was crazy. What? I mean, come on, you've got to admit a sniper rifle, OP. <laughs> yeah, but come on, man. Just DMR or something. It's like, but yeah, fuck. I mean, what was it? 500 quid, 600 quid for an SRS? 560. 560. And then, this is the only thing why. That frustrates me, right? And it'll probably it's been like this for a while, but you're paying five hundred and sixty quid for an SRS, but then you have to pay for a scope to go on that. If you want to get a good scope, and it depends, right? If you're going down the cheap alley or not to get something. But to be fair, I bought that scope on the on the on the salient for only like twenty quid, and it's really good. Um, so yeah, I can see it. It's still like a good eight hundred quid gun, I think. All, all, like all in. Yeah. And if I mean, you get, I've already, got, I've already got a scope anyway. If you get those uh, black BBs, that'd be awesome as well. Oh, now that we're on the subject, uh, give give us a little shout out for your Instagram channel, dude, with all your sniper stuff and your giddies and your new KMCS. <laughs> so if you want to keep up to date with all my content, um, hopefully, uh, you know, some more new content should come out soon uh, it's alex.gilly2493 you know I, I obviously uh you know in, as you said in brother brothers in arms with alpha, alpha mike one and um yeah man there should be definitely some new content coming nice photos nice airsoft footage if we can get some more and uh you know hopefully some cheeky little smoke photos <laughs> we, we can sit down as well, well now, now that we've got the camera um we can definitely do that because i definitely want to get some for myself um, it's got to be green smoke, dude. Green smoke's just the one. That would be good, actually. Green smoke would be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, regarding Alex's Instagram, I should be putting a little link underneath here or in the comments for you to go and check him out. Um, smash the like button. Go and wish him a happy birthday. Um, great lad. And uh, he's, well, me, me and Alex have been happy to answer any questions that people kind of reach out to us about stuff. Usually my questions are around CQB and and um, and rifles, SMGs, and Alex has been more around concealment and, and sniper rifles. But we're, we're all chipping. Um, we also have a group of great guys on Instagram, like the OBS crew. Um, but yeah, Operation Broadsword, check out their YouTube channel as well. Awesome Mate, video. Absolutely, absolutely amazing squad to roll with, like seriously. Like they're so efficient at what they do. Yeah. So. You know, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've, I've rolled with them a few times at AP, and they, they're literally, they know what they're doing. Um, comms and all. So, you know, <laughs> you, you wouldn't necessarily like to be on the receiving end of those guys. So, definitely would get, you know, definitely looking forward to rolling with them, especially when me and you rolled with them at uh, Splatoon. That was a very, very good time, wasn't it? Yes, it was.
<laughs> that was so weird. I had a great time. I really did. Um, now that I've got the, all the new loadout stuff as well, I really want to try again. I really, I want to go back to Splatoon. Splatoon to me, hey, I'm not even joking. It's, I'm not being told to promote them. I'm not being paid by Splatoon. But Splatoon for me is the best CQB mixed map I've ever been to since I started playing Airsoft. Um, so right in the middle of, you know, completely outdoors and, and massive spaces to like a place kind of like 50, Bunker 51 where I first started playing, which is, uh, uh, you know, un- kind of like an underground car park uh, map. It's, it's tight, it's dark and it's small, right? Um, and then in contrast to that, AP, to, uh, which is uh, SF Plantation in Essex, which takes like what, what we had like a record amount of like 350 uh, uh, during Christmas. So imagine 350 people playing, you know, it's like the, you know, it's like that scene out of Avengers where they try and attack Wakanda, right? It's, it's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, I think Splatoon is probably my favorite site at the moment. I'm not going to lie. And the, the management there are awesome. Uh, shout out to them lot, uh, to the to the the, the refs and uh, and uh, the general management. They are great people, um, and I believe they hold loads of awesome events like uh, night games and stuff. Obviously, due to this COVID situation, none of us can actually get out, which is frustrating, and it hasn't affected more than me and this guy because <laughs> he is dying to get out. <laughs> you are itching. Yeah, I'm itching because I've got all this new equipment, especially because the fact that I want to do all the crafting as well. I've got all the materials, but I mean, I just find it, I would find it a little bit pointless in terms of crafting at the moment um, because the fact that I haven't necessarily got the actual backgrounds that I want to conceal in. So I've tried to ask the side leader in terms of airsoft plantation, but unfortunately, you know, they're still closed at the moment. Um, But once the airsoft plantation opens back up, the, the usual thing that I do, where I, t- that I turn up like two hours early. I mean, so I mean to be fair, it would technically be it, uh, guessing. In, in all fairness, in terms of crafting, but if I wanted to, I mean, what you, I mean, you know, as you said, as it's seen on the KMCS that they have band little band bits where you can stash the stash the uh, natural vegetation in. So I'm gonna try and see if I can try it on one game. I'll probably both bring both gillies just to try them out. Um, I, it's just yeah, I'll, I'll go out before game starts check out the nat- natural vegetation that i want to conceal on my uh, you know want to put on my ghillie suit and see how it works i mean i've already got uh, raffia i've already got artificial uh, fern leaves which is good and i've, I've just ordered uh, off of amazon yesterday oh. <laughs> um artificial holly, uh, artificial holly leaves which is good because there's loads of holly leaves in airsoft plantation so it's all just pretty much just like putting that greenery on there because i mean just like natural vegetation is good but it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass in terms of stuffing it on your suit. But, you know, I mean... I was just having a weird idea. Has anybody ever turned themselves into a thorn bush? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they probably have. <laughs> just running across the pitch. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if someone turned themselves into Mate, At the end of the day, he's walking into the safe zone looking like the Passion of Christ. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Jesus Christ. I've got I've got thorns on my head. I am officially Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, that is bad. But yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good when we roll together, though, man. I mean, we, you know, you've got your gun cameras, you've got your GoPro. I've got my 4K, whether I use it, I've got a 4K camera, whether I use it or not. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be it's gonna be really really good. It's it's gonna be good to reunite again. It's gonna be good where we have long weekends. Yeah, man, it'll be. It'll be awesome to catch up again. That's been the only thing for me is travel now, right? So, if if they do open it up, like I was saying to you, right? If they if the hotels opened up, then okay, fine, I'm hundred percent because then I'll just stay there the night, even if it's before the game or and after the game, just so I'm not rushing. Because you know I've got all that all the equipment that I have to bring up, yeah. especially now with the ghillie, that's even more weight in the bag. So. Well, and also, if you if you have like sniper rifles and stuff, and or, or you you've, you've got new guns, you said you wanted to test out your vector. Um, you know, when you obviously you drive up in the hotel and you you know spend a certain amount of time in there, and you check in and check out. Um, just come down, bring all your gear, and then what we could do, what we could do is I could pick you up, come back to my house, like, shoot at the shoot the targets in the back garden, get some. Stuff That's if your mum even lets me in. <laughs> uh? That's if your parents even let me in. So- <laughs> I'm the plumber. 
God's sake. <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, nah, it'll, be cool, it'll be cool, man. Definitely be good. And uh, yeah, just looking okay. forward to it. I mean, I hope everyone out, out there in the airsoft community is staying strong. You know, it is bloody hard in terms of being able to just have Sundays or Saturdays, whatever day you play on, yeah. and uh, just stay in and just you know, just stay in your house and are unable to do anything unless you're a very lucky person with a massive back garden um, and have loads of different, uh, different things you can do. I mean, I know loads of people... Uh, posting stuff on Instagram, shooting targets in their back garden, which is uh, which is pretty good. Sitting there, sitting in their gear and and still enjoying themselves while they can, even though they've got airsoft withdrawal symptoms like I had. But uh, yeah, it's all good. It's just like my hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm getting there as well. If it's any consolation, so it's gone, <laughs> gone. I've got no patience left. It's all gone. <laughs> oh man! All right, there, brother. Well, look. Again, happy birthday. Yeah? Cheers, man. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you soon, dude. Yeah, man. Just don't hassle anybody for any more airsoft uh, presents, okay? You've, you've, got, <laughs> you've, got, you've got enough. <laughs> I'll try not to. Yeah, and again, keep it real, bro. <laughs> hey, look, at those, look at that eyebrow action. Go on, go on. Show me that eyebrow action. Go on. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for joining us for the last... I don't know, eight, nine, ten minutes. Um, obviously, it's just a spontaneous video. Editing's not going to be great. But, yeah, why not? See you later, guys.